Okay, so first we determine the receptor field of all the sensors, right? Yeah. Okay. Derek, the guys from Kleist Neuroscience will be here in 20. Oh, I can't. I, once I'm done here, I have to get Bailey to a music class. Um, what's this? They want to talk to me about a research thing. It's not just a thing. It is the presidential initiative on brain mapping. It is the thing. Okay, no. <laughs> We're starting phase two, okay? He's my brain now. Meredith can have the rest. I get his brain. I'll get rid of them. No, you won't. You will say yes to them. And you're both going to be at Kepner's wedding, yes? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going. Bailey's doing surgery, finally, and I'd rather do that than watch Arizona stand up there looking gorgeous while I'm some pathetic, shriveled, leftover, discarded thing she scraped off her shelf. Ew, oh, do this. No, I know you think this is just what I do. Oh, hey, hey, you're all going to the wedding, right? Yes. Is it mandatory? This is exactly, exactly what you do. No, I know what I do, and this is not that. She was important. We were something. Maybe they were something. No. How's your dad? He's told all the nurses you're his kid. He's proud. How is he? Don't know. Don't really care. Oh, 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 he's been run over! Sir, do not move! No, do no, not no, move! Stop! Him. Keep him still. Back forward to C-spine. He was driving a tractor. He hit a bump and fell off. He went under the wheel and the chase had been too. Has he moved at all since? Yeah, yeah, he was trying to get up. Okay, let's get him straight to the low dock. All right, let's go. What's his name? Cody. His name's Cody. Cody, I'm Dr. Robin. Can you hear me? You didn't call an ambulance? I called 911, but then he passed out and I was so scared I couldn't wait. So I, I brought him here myself. You say he was moving before? Yeah, that's good, right? Sir, I'm gonna need you to step back. We're going to do everything we can. It's a burst fracture at C6. Paige Torres, his belly's full of blood. He's going to the OR now. You should have waited for the ambulance. I think this guy paralyzed his own kid by bringing him here himself. Don't know that yet, Alex. I got this. Why don't you go be with your dad? That's all right. What? You must have questions. Long lost father? I mean, I'd have a billion. Help me get into the OR, and then I'll call you if I need you, okay? Let's go. Is he going to be okay? He has a lot of internal bleeding, so we need to operate right away. Also, his neck is broken. Oh, my God. He can move, right? He was moving. That was before he We'll was know moving. more in a bit. We're doing everything that we can, so sit tight. Okay, I can fuse C5 and 6, but I have to work fast if we even want a shot at avoiding paralysis. Oh, thank you. You're a genius. Ten blade? I am, actually. Well, sort of a genius. Derek and I start phase two today. <gasps> Tactile pressure feedback. Awesome. Good for you. <laughs> well, it's good for you, too. The goal is a prosthetic leg uh, as sensitive and as responsive as the one that you lost. Get you back to where you were. Okay, um, prep the neck. I'm in a scrub. Hey, I told you I'd call you if I need you. How's your dad? Where do you want me? Grab a clamp. Help me find the bleeders. Are you gonna wear your high heel leg? Because it looks amazing, but you always get so sore after a while. Oh, also, it's on a farm, so it might be muddy. I'll be fine. You... Okay. Were you able to decompress the cord? Is he paralyzed? Uh, it's too soon to tell. You're going to tell the dad? Tell the dad what? The spinal injury was likely caused by the father transporting him. God, you wait for an ambulance. Well, he didn't know. Yeah, well, and now maybe his kid might not walk? I mean, he would have been better off if he just kept his hands off. Kelly, stop it. His kid was hurt, and he was trying to fix it. Sometimes we try to make things better, and we have no idea that we're actually causing more pain. Of course we don't tell him. 